many people who have asked me when they come to this place, uh, how do you know that you've been here long enough? I have a standard answer to that. When you know where all the washrooms are, you've been here too long. <laughs> uh, and, and, and I told that to someone uh, uh, in the um, East Block one day, and they said, well, you must know where all the washrooms are. I said, well, I thought I did, and I found a new one. And, I, and, and people said, well, well, I told them where it was, and they said, there's no washroom. And I said, well, I'll, it, there is now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, colleagues, uh, I, I am actually overwhelmed with the gratitude, uh, with gratitude to, to all of those who, kind words from all you colleagues. Thank you so much, honorable colleagues. It, it is very humbling. This is the one and only time in my life that I find myself almost speechless. But don't, don't worry, Senator Platt, I'll get over that. <laughs> I've uh, lived a wonderful life throughout my many career paths. They all brought me here to this chamber where I, where I walk away knowing I tried to do some good. I wasn't always successful. But it, was, uh, but it was the trying that matters. We are all so privileged to work here in the Senate of Canada. I cannot help but think of, of, uh, of my parents, Bob and Bessie, would think uh, of, of me today after serving almost uh, 19 years. Ago. I was fortunate enough that when I was appointed, my dad and mom were both alive. Uh, and my dad, my, my dad died before I was sworn in, though. But uh, my mom was here for that as well. Uh, it's a very important uh, memory to have. As a boy growing up in North End, Halifax, to be standing here is, is, is quite a thing. It was, it, it was a tough part of town. It's become gentrified a bit now, but uh, it's, uh, it's still uh, a little rough. I cannot thank uh, everybody uh, enough for the support and, and their wisdom in my family. To my siblings, Colleen, Bob, and Paulette, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and my brother, Gerald, who's now gone, and their spouses, uh, Bob, Robert, uh, Bonnie, and my brother, Bob's uh, late wife, Dot. I say thank you as well, not only for, for your sound advice, but for your constructive criticism, sometimes too much of it, is, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, for that is uh, how, how we learn to be better. Politics around the kitchen table was always interesting in my house, in, in the family, uh, to say the least. It was almost a contact sport. Uh, my path to the Senate uh, uh, was, it was an interesting one, as many of you know, uh, but I would I'd like to mention a, a couple of things. I'd like to mention the, the late Walter R. Fitzgerald, who was Minister of Labour and Housing in Nova Scotia, and several times the Mayor of the City of Halifax. He gave me my first real political job as his, as his executive assistant. This is where I started to hone some of my, my, my uh, political uh, skills. But the voters of Nova Scotia would decide the, uh, the next uh, path in my career as our government lost the next election in 1978 and, and I turned out to be, I had that ended up unemployed. Uh, and I, I, I turned to the charitable uh, sector and nonprofits. The Kidney Foundation at the time was looking for their first executive director in Nova Scotia. I took the job operated the office under my basement of my house. I had a, an assistant who lived in another city uh, who, who, who did the paperwork, but it, it, was a, it was a great learning experience and it welcomed me into the charitable sector. I had uh, been a volunteer in politics for most of my life up until that point, but, there, there, but it was here that I learned just how much more volunteers do and how, how they and the donors are the, are the backbone of the sector. After that, a stint as executive director of the Nova Scotia Liberal Party, I would go on to, to, to work for the Nova Scotia Lung Association, St. John Ambulance, uh, Nova Scotia Council, the Metro branch of the Canadian Diabetes, Metro Toronto branch of the Canadian Diabetes Association, and the YMCA of Greater Toronto, which, by the way, is the third largest Y in the world. That was a place where I, I, my career took a very major professional turn. The Y demanded pro pro professionals and they made sure that you got it. And they uh, also helped introduce me to the Association of Fundraising Professionals. After, for 60 years now, AFP has been the standard bearer for professionalism in fundraising, and I was honored to be endorsed as a certified fundraising executive. 
AFP has, has been a, param uh, a paramount in my professional development, and I thank all the people that worked uh, uh, with over the years for their support. It was also during that time that I, I, be I, con I continued my involvement in, in the Liberal Party of Canada. Indeed, while I was uh, Vice President of the YMCA of Greater Toronto, I also became, during the leadership campaign, I became a part of the Fretchen leadership team. I was responsible, believe it or not, a guy from North End Halifax, I was responsible for all of West End Toronto and, 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 and part of the suburbs. And uh, we did quite well there. And, and uh, I, I, won't, I won't tell Dennis my secrets of, of that time, but, but, but he's heard about them, I, I know. Eventually, I was asked to, to hit the fundraising of the party. And, and eventually, uh, th within a year, I became the national director. Words cannot express how, how much I respect Jean Chrétien. As a matter of fact, I had a call, phone call from him last night, and uh, he, he was unable to, 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 to be with me last night because he, he, was, he was away. But he, uh, he did express uh, his, his, his good wishes, and, and I was so proud to have, that, ha have him do that. There are far too many people to thank at the party office when I became national director. Uh, to, 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 uh, they, they were some of the best staff that I, that I had the pleasure to work with. I always made a point uh, to support the young liberals of Canada and, and the Nova Scotia young liberals, as our youth are the future of our country, not only in the Liberal Party, but in all the political parties, uh, parties and, and, and movements. Young people have a dogged determination and drive to make a difference. And we, and we all would, be, would, <coughs> would uh, do well to continue to support their efforts, regardless of our politics. Honorable Senators, I recall uh, uh, vividly the fateful day of November uh, 2003, when uh, the, the Prime Minister called me in my, in my Liberal Party office. It was about 7 o'clock in the evening, and uh, to ask me if I wanted to sit in the Senate of Canada. I don't think I've ever said yes to a question that quickly before. <laughs> I, I remain deeply honored to have, have been asked and to have sat here in the Senate for almost 19 years. Throughout my Senate career, I sat on many committees and learned a lot uh, about various aspects of governing in this country. I initially sat on the Agricultural and Forestry Committee, which was supposed to be temporary. Well, when I leave this place, I will have served for an entire time, including as deputy chair for a time. For a city boy like me, it was an eye-opener. I, I, a, 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 I, I have a great deal of respect for all the people who are in the industry. Canadian farmers and all the people who support them are bringing Canada, Canadian products to the world. I hope we continue to sell ourselves to the world with the amazing uh, products we produce. I also <clears throat> enjoyed my time on the Transport Committee with, with Senator Dawson. And, and, and on the Aging Committee and the Library of Parliament Committee. Don't ever forget about the Library of Parliament Committee. Certain people, uh, in, 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 a, in a term, certain, uh, a certain government didn't want uh, the parliamentary budget officer who, uh, to report, uh, in, and he reported through the Parliament, the, the Parliament of Canada, uh, the Parliamentary Parliament of Canada building, uh, committee rather, and, and they've changed that legislation now, he points, reports. And I kept trying to get him to come as a witness. And I'd go to the meetings to all set to, to, to make the motion. And as soon as the chairman was elected, somebody would move the adjournment of the meeting. <laughs> and I'd never get it done. And anyway, and, and then I went on to become the chairman of the selection committee uh, uh, of, uh, at one time. While I was a bit reluctant to take the, on the role, senators like Senator Platt put, on, uh, put their faith in me, and I thank them for that now. I wasn't, that wasn't very thankful at the time. It's, it, it, it is the work of, of our committees where we senators shine. But we only uh, can do that with the help and support of staff who make our work possible. I've had the pleasure of working with many uh, clerks over the years, and I thank them all. I did work with some for a long time, and I'd like to, to thank Jessica Richardson, Adam Thompson, is, uh, Kelly Hogan, uh, uh, Kevin Pittman, and, and, and Shyla Anwar, specifically, for your support and, uh, and of, of, uh, of our work and the work of the Senate over, over my tenure. Committee travel 
is, is so essential to get out and meet Canadians, like the, like the Senate on the, on, on the road, uh, take the Senate on the road again as soon as you possibly can. Do that. The people, the staff are always on hand to make sure the, those trips are successful. One of the greatest achievements I've, I've ever accomplished will, will uh, forever be the Senate's, uh, the Special Committee on the Charitable Sector. It took several years and lots of, of convincing, but, it made, but, I, but we made it happen. I, the result was a report that I would believe will help the sector continue to grow and flourish because we need it. I would like to thank Senators Omnivar and, and Martin for their support and, and their d diligence in making the, the report a reality. And, and Javi Exenberg and, and Nicole Sweeney, our researchers, and Anna Trudel uh, and, her, and our staff. Every day, the lives of Canadians from coast to coast to coast are touched by the sector and its volunteers. I would like you to join me in thanking millions of volunteers who, t who, take, who make a difference in their communities. Thank them. Thank you. I, also, I, I, I was also especially proud to be able to, to get legislation to officially recognize National Philanthropy Day, the first of its kind in the world, by the way, the first country ever to do that. According uh, uh, to Imagine Canada, the charitable sector and nonprofit uh, sector uh, contributes uh, $192 billion in economic activity to Canada annually, which accounts for about 8% of the country's GDP. The sector employs 2.4 million people, which is more than the mining and gas sector or agriculture and tr transportation and retail. Think about that. That's why philanthropy is an important, and that's why we should rec uh, recognize it uh, and the volunteers who, s who serve it. Another way to provide service to our country is through blood donation. The National Blood Donor uh, Week uh, is legislation that I, I sponsored, and with the help of all parties, we passed it to, to recognize and celebrate uh, volunteer blood donations across Canada and, and happens every June. <clears throat> Uh, these donors give the gift of life, the ultimate gift of all. And I thank all of the donors who have and will continue uh, to, to, to give their precious gift. My father was a, a, a blood donor all his life. As honorable senators, throughout my years here, I've had the opportunity to celebrate many occasions, uh, and many occasions. Famously, Senator Munson and I were asked by, uh, by former Senator Landon Pearson to take over uh, Ch National Child's Day, which she had she had started, and which, by the way, and I'm, I can hear all the, I, I can see all the women in the room saying, "Yes, that's right." It took two; they had to get two men to do to do the job of one woman. That, that's it, it, we we got the message right from the start, uh, it, Senator Munch and I. But we had we had a good time. Uh, every uh, year, every uh, November, we would have National Child's Day. We would invite hundreds of, of young people into the chamber, and we would have performances on the floor of the chamber. Uh, sometimes, sometimes we didn't necessarily tell the speaker all of what was going to happen. Uh, but to give you an idea of, of the uh, breath of the um, famous Canadian group, Beer Naked Ladies, performed in the Senate of Canada in front of the speaker's chair and put, did, did a couple of numbers. The kids went wild, of course, as, as, and, and I'm not sure that the speaker of the day was as happy as, 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 as here about it. But anyway, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And I thank Senator Landon Pearson for, for encouraging Senator Munson and I to do that. And along with that, it wasn't just Senator Munson and I. We had, a, we had help from the former Senator Cochran and the current Senators Martin and Gagne uh, to, to, to make it happen. And I thank them for their support. Former Senator Romke also uh, started me uh, on a push to hosting Navy and Coast Guard Day on the Hill. From its humble beginnings, and I, I'll tell you how humble it was, we said we were going to have this day to, to celebrate the Canadian Navy and, and, and the Coast Guard. We had no budget, but we knew we wanted to have a party. So a bunch of volunteers and staff uh, went out to, to the local uh, brewery, uh, the home, home brewery, and, and, and made beer. They also went to the lo local winery and they made wine. So we have a party on, on the hill to celebrate the, the, the Royal Canadian Navy and the Coast Guard with homemade wine, and, well, well not homemade, but, but made wine and, and, and made beer by, by volunteers, which we paid for, which we found some money to pay for. 
the party was, has huge success. It is now considered one of the premier social functions on Parliament Hill when we can get back to having those type of functions on the Hill. I would encourage that when we, when we can that we get back to doing it, you will be amazed at the turnout that will show up for Navy and Coast Guard Day on the Hill. It is, it is really uh, absolutely terrific. And as the son of, a chief, of Chief Petty Officer Second Class Bob Mercer and the father of Lieutenant uh, uh, Michael Mercer, who's up in the gallery, uh, uh, I, I, would, uh, it would, I would hope that you would uh, uh, support the, the reinstatement of, of Navy Day on the Hill. One of my many volunteers in my office and friend, Jared Riley, was instrumental in planning and further development of this event, and I thank him and the many other volunteers who, who made it all happen. I would also, I would be remiss if I did not mention the work I, I also did with, with CASA, the Canadian Alliance of Student Associations, supporting university students in their endeavors, and with SOCAN, supporting Canadian artists to, who, uh, who, who provide so much to, to the culture and diversity of our country. Thank you to them. Honorable Senators, we would not be able to, to do jobs uh, it, it, do our jobs if, if we're not for our staff and volunteers. I have had the pleasure of working with many summer students, I've, uh, and I encourage you when we get back to normal, that whatever normal is anymore, uh, that you, you, you uh, hire some summer students. I've had Catherine Donovan from uh, New, New Brunswick, Michael Power from Ottawa, Juliana Kelly from, from, from Manatick, uh, Nat Atherton from, uh, from Ottawa, uh, Jennifer Johns from Ottawa, and Jessica Burker from Ottawa, and Michael Newberg from, from, from Gatineau. I, I, uh, I know the experience uh, they gained working in the Senate has been invaluable to them, and it certainly was to me, and I'd like to thank them on the record today. The many other staff over the years ha we have in our Senate office have been the best I've ever worked with, including some who have been with me my entire uh, tenure. I'd like to thank, uh, like to thank you to, to Lisa Thibodeau, Melanie Nicholson, Heather Forsythe, and, and Caitlin Gropp for, for your support, especially as we, as we navigate our way through the creation of the PSG. I'd also like to thank Archie Campbell and Dave Murphy, who also uh, were on, on hand to help with my, the annual uh, Senator Mercer tree trimming party. Uh, when I came back a couple weeks ago and I said, Looking towards the end of, uh, I said I wanted to do something special and, and to, to be remembered by, and I almost did it, but I but I I, I, I pulled back because I, I knew I'd get in a lot of trouble. I was going to have my tree trimming party l last week. <laughs> well, well, my tree trimming party usually involves uh, tra traipsing of a of hundred or so people through the third f third floor of the East Block in, in front of my office and and and. Uh, um, we had uh, live music, which we didn't pay for. It was volunteers. Uh, we had volunteer bartenders, and then we had all kinds of uh, great food, uh, mainly supplied by my staff. And I'm going to talk about them in a minute. Uh, uh, to, and and to, uh, to all the staff at the, 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 the Progressive Center Group, thank you for, for all, you, all you do for your centers. Keep up the good work and make sure they have a little fun, too. The Parliamentary Protective Services, Maintenance uh, uh, Services, Clients, ISD uh, Property Services, uh, Committee uh, Attendance, uh, Multimedia uh, Services, inc including Pedro, the, the interpreters, and all of the, the support staff uh, th throughout the entire Senate. Thank you for your service. You are the ones who help make this, the, the, this train, keep this train on the track. And, and thank you also to the Parliamentary Association groups. Uh, and all the staff that we, we have to help promote Canada to the world. Two people who were indeed with me uh, for my entire Senate journey, I cannot thank enough. Sherry Patton and David Shepard. Sherry's job, Sherry at the was had terrific experience, had worked in the in, in the Deputy Prime Minister's office when Herb Gray was uh, Deputy Prime Minister. She then worked for the leader of the, of the government in the Senate, Sharon Carstairs. She was in Sharon's office when I was appointed. I, uh, 
I was lucky enough to get her out of Sharon's office and get her to, to come work for me. We had a deal, though. The deal was Sher Sherry's about 10 years, almost exactly 10 years younger than I am. So that was the deal. She turned 65, I turned 75. It, it, this is great, and, 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 we, and, and we leave together. But Sherry decided that she'd live a few years ago and, and I and, and is ha having a great retirement, and I, I continue to think. Sherry's job was to keep me out of, out of jail and out of trouble. <laughs> well, I've never been in jail, so that, 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 that probably works. And the trouble that I've got has been stuff that I've done on my own, and Sherry, Sherry w w would try to talk me out of it sometimes. Is David Shepherd, on the other hand, I've known David for a long time. He was, was a young liberal in Nova Scotia, and when I was appointed, David was working for the party in Nova Scotia, and I enticed them to move from Nova Scotia to Ottawa. And it's been a wonderful, uh, a wonderful partnership between David and Sherry and I. Uh, I would suggest that I have been blessed with the best staff in the Senate, uh, in the Senate office for years, and I have been successful because of, of, their, uh, of their support. Now, I did want to stop and tell you a story. Senator Platt was very kind in his remarks and, and talked about how, how, how friendly uh, we, we've become. And, and we are, I, I consider Senator Platt uh, one of my closest friends in the Senate. The, the Agriculture and Forestry Committee was uh, on, a, on a tour. And we ended up in northern New Brunswick and, and with, uh, with Senator Mockler. And, and uh, by the way, Senator Mockler doesn't know that he doesn't have to get elected because anywhere you went in, in, in northern New Brunswick with Senator Mockler, he was shaking hands. Like, I, I've been on a lot of campaigns, as, and, and, Percy, and Percy kept shaking hands with everybody that, 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 that was there. Anyway, so we're in, in St. Leonard, I, I believe, uh, and we stopped, and the Senator Platt and I were on the committee, and we were relatively new. Uh, I, I was a little more experienced on, on the committee than Senator Platt because he had just recently been appointed. So we went out to dinner, and, as, as committees do, and the, and the end, of, end of the night we, were, we had sat down to have a, have a glass of wine, and everybody else went to bed. There, here we are, Senator Platt and I sat there, stuck to, to talk to each other. So, when we, so we had another glass of wine, <laughs> maybe two glasses of wine. It's, it's, and, and, and we, we discovered something, that when we stopped, when we weren't being partisan about, uh, about the Liberal Party or the, or the Conservative Party, we actually liked each other. <laughs> and and, and, and we, built that, we built on that relationship. And we've, it's helped sometimes in this chamber, not all the time, but, <laughs> but, and, but, but Don and I ha have having a relationship where I know I can always go and talk to him, and he knows he can always come and talk to me. And sometimes it's been helpful. Not all the time, because sometimes <laughs> things get in the way. It's, you know, he's a stubborn guy. <laughs> I mean, uh, however, our small but mighty caucus is making the Senate a better place, I think. The PSG is, is made up of centers with different backgrounds, shared values, and at times uh, uh, differing opinions. We all br I'll bring uh, something to the table, and I look forward to watching the group uh, grow and continue to improve quality. I forgot to finish my Don Platt story. Uh, I, 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 just re I just realized we, we did another trip with the transport committee. Don was on, on that, was on, along with Dennis. We went to Estonia uh, to, 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 for, for, for part of our study, and then we came uh, to, uh, to Brussels uh, uh, for the second part. And it happened to be in November. And it, Wednesday of that week was November the 11th. So I, I went to the clerk of the committee, and I said, well, we're not working on Wednesday. He said, well, why? I said, well, it's remembered. Said, you have to find a place for us, us to go to celebrate uh, uh, Remembrance Day. They or organized it with the embassy in, in, uh, in Brussels. And we went to uh, Yeeps. Yes, yeah. Yeeps, and, and where the Menin Gate is, and, and it's uh, only a couple blocks, a couple of miles from. Um, uh, what was the battle? Um, I, I did this the other day with somebody, and, and I forgot the name of the battle. It, it will come back to me. Anyway, uh, made a movie. Passchendaele. Hmm? Passchendaele. Passchendaele. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's only a few blocks, a few miles from Passchendaele. So, 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 so we that was a. 
the part about PLEP, though, was later on when we went back, back to, to, to Brussels. We're out after uh, a, a, at night, and, and suddenly these two guys, Dawson and Platt, decided that they wanted to go shopping. And behind, not far from the hotel was a shop that only sold ties. That's all they sold were ties. <laughs> yes. yep, yeah. and they were long ties, and they were bow ties. Yes. And so, so, so I, get, I get this guy in here with, with the bow ties, that guy in there with... At he the still end, has it. At the, end, at the end of the evening, when we left the, the tie shop, Dawn, 15, 20 ties, I can't recall, the, the, but it was a lot of ties. And Dennis bought a few bow ties. And I, 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 I was just so amazed, I didn't buy anything. <laughs> yeah, what, not, number one, these guys were buying high-end ties, so not, not like me. Uh, <laughs> although, although this tie today is, by the way, uh, those of you who are tartan lovers, th this is a Cooper tartan. My mother's maiden name was Cooper, and, and any special occasion in this place, I try to wear it to, to, in honor of my mother. So the, anyway, so that was Plath and, and Dawson shopping for ties. Don told me a couple of weeks later, I asked him, I said, well, what did your wife think of all the ties? He, she didn't think, say anything about the ties, but she did, she did ask me about that big, big, big charge on the, on, on the visa card. <laughs> anyway, thank you all uh, again. Our, uh, I'd like to thank my caucus colleagues Don, Diane, Wanda, Pat, Pierre, uh, Brian, Amina, Clement, Peter, and, and Marty. I will miss our weekly chats and, and, and sometimes weekly debates. And finally, so, uh, some parting advice for all of you. Please remember, you are all politicians. That's it. Words that so many of you came in here saying you never wanted to be. You're all politicians. It could be a big P or it could be a small P, but you're all politicians. And, and, and don't forget it. And that's not a bad thing. The work of a senator is demanding and extremely satisfying, especially when we work together uh, with like-minded colleagues in, cau in caucuses or groups, but also with each other. I mentioned before the work of the committees uh, when we travel, and, I, and I've already told you the story about uh, Mockler is campaigning in northern New Brunswick, and, and, and Don Platt and I uh, meeting in, in, in the borough. In, in, in any event, in any event, ooh, build friendships. Go meet with people. And this is the problem with the, pa with the pandemic. We don't have any social events these, these days where we, can, where we go, go get together. When they go, come back, go to these things. Meet your cause. Make sure you meet someone who's on the other side or, or, or in a group that you, you have no affiliation with. Because guess what? You're going you're to build those relationships. And those relationships are going to make committees work better. They're going to make this place work better. And they're going to make the legislation better. And they're going to serve Canadians better. And it's only going to happen if you do it together. So get to know your colleagues on both sides. You will all be better off for it. In here, in the chamber, we can debate and argue, disagree and agree. But out there, outside, remember, we are all people who can celebrate friendships regardless of, of where we are on the political spectrum. The grand experiment of the, of the Prime Minister <coughs> is still just that, an experiment. What will happen in the future is up to us, really to you now, how, how, how you will navigate it. What, cha what changes uh, uh, to keep, what, what the Senate will, will look like in the future is up to you. Please do not pa forget the past, and please do not think that the past was so horrible, because you may end up going back to it. My prediction has always been or, that eventually this place will evolve back to where it was. There will be a group sitting over there as the opposition, and there will be a group sitting over here as, as the government. And, and, and I would suggest there will be several other groups who, who will be uh, like, like we have now. But that's well, I think that's how, how the place will evolve. You will all figure that out on your own. I, I wouldn't be here to guide you, although I would be happy to give you some advice. Is, is, uh, hon honorable Senators, I'd like to thank all of my family and friends, uh, uh, to, 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 too many to mention who have been extremely supportive through the good times and the bad. My cousin John is in, in the gallery with his wife Nina. And, and, and uh, Ellen and I would, would, uh, would not have been able to, to transition 
to Ottawa when, when, when we first moved here without them. And thank you for that. It made, it, it made my life, our lives so much easier. To my wife, Ellen, who I recently celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary with, words are not enough. Words are not enough. I wouldn't be here today without you. You are my rock. <laughs> to my son, Michael, and, and my daughter-in-law, Lisa, who's, who's at home with the grandchildren, I, I look forward to spending more time with you and our two wonderful grandchildren, Ellie and Oliver. Thank you for enriching our lives. Honourable Senators, that finishes the first half of my speech. <laughs> uh, I, actually, I actually, actually thought that before I had this speech uh, today that I would come in with a much thicker thing and, and, so, and just so Senator Platt that I could speak for an hour and a half, too. <laughs> Honourable Senators, thank you for your kind words. Thank you for your support. And please, continue your good work. Canada needs you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.